Okay, welcome to our afternoon training sessions, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to go through how to edit uh, PDF files. Um, so editing as in filling out, filling out and completing forms and actually signing them on screen rather than printing them out. Uh, I'll just make sure you guys can see my screen there. All right, so what we're looking at here is a, uh, a PDF form. Now, Microsoft Windows actually only comes with a, a built-in PDF viewer that's part of uh, the Edge browser. So the Edge browser is a, a very good internet browser, but not very good at completing PDF forms. So to go through and fill out forms, uh, your best bet is to uh, get some specialized PDF software. And a few that I recommend are Foxit Reader and PDF Exchange. I really like Foxit Reader just because it's nice and simple and it's got just the tools you need uh, to go through and, and fill out PDF forms and sign them very easily. Alrighty, so the forms I'm talking about are something you might have a, say, a credit application from your suppliers um, or any other form for that matter. Uh, so what I see a lot of people doing is they will uh, receive a PDF form via email, they'll print it out uh, to their printer manually complete the form and sign it by pen and then scan it back into their computer and email back to the supplier the signed copy. So we can get through that um, all on your computer screen rather than having to go through that whole printout process and scan it back in again. Uh, so I've just opened up this document. It's just a, a document from Telstra and I've opened that in Foxit Reader. So after this session, when I put it onto YouTube, I'll provide some links to this software. Uh, but if we scroll down, um, we'll see that this has got some fields here that we can fill out. Now, generally you can't really fill out a, a PDF form. Uh, some, there are no fields you can even type in. This one looks like there are some fields uh, indicated by these purple fields here, which means you should be able to click into those and edit the detail. So in Foxit, uh, there's a little hand button at this top left-hand corner. If you click on that, that will actually allow you to click into these fields. So it's important to note that some PDF, uh, some PDF forms won't have these fields on them if they're not a smart PDF. Uh, and even Foxit has trouble with some particular documents. So you might want another PDF software to fall back on if that's the case, if it can't edit these fields. Uh, so in this one, we can enter information very easily. Just click into the fields and type your data in. Now on a, a PDF form, if there were no fields that you could click in, uh, this Foxit PDF software will allow you to type over the top. So if you have a look on this home ribbon here, there's a typewriter option. So you click anywhere on this document and it will give you uh, the cursor there where you can type. So you can click on that and drag it to anywhere you like as well. So generally what you'd do if this wasn't a fillable form, you could click directly on top of where you'd like to type. I'll try that again with the typewriter. And essentially you're filling in this text on top of that PDF form. So if we scroll to the bottom of this document, Actually, there's something I'll mention too. So a lot of times you get these tick boxes, which in this form, you can actually just tick them as you're going. If it wasn't a smart form, uh, you would use your typewriter and probably just click over the top of the box and just put an X in the boxes that you're interested in. All right, if we scroll to the bottom, there's a, a place for a signature down here. Maybe there's not, I've gone past that. There's the signature spot. Now, what you can do here on these documents where you need to sign, uh, in Foxit on the home ribbon again, there's this PDF sign button. If we click on that, uh, here's some, signatures that I've set up previously. Uh, 
So you can create new ones as well. So the, the best way to do that, I've found, uh, there's probably lots of ways you've already got a signature saved on your computer somewhere, you can use that. Um, I'm not sure whether you can see my, uh, my camera at the moment. Uh, here we go. So all I've done here is I've just got a piece of paper and I've just put a, a signature on there. Just best to do it on a white piece of paper with no other lines on it. Uh, you just put your signature on that. Um, if you don't have a scanner, you can just take a picture of it on your phone and just email it to yourself. And what you'll end up with is an image like this, which I'll open up. So that's my signature. Just I've taken a photo of my signature off that bit of paper there. So the easiest way I've found to get this signature from here into the PDF software is to use the Windows Snippet tool. So you can run that just by clicking in your Windows Start menu and type the word Snip. You'll end up with this snipping tool. All right, to use that snipping tool, we can click on this new button. So this tool is also great. It's not um, only used for creating signatures, but it's also great for, uh, for other uses as well. Like you might be cutting images from a, another photo and superimposing them. This tool is great for those sorts of things. So if you click that new button in snipping, uh, you can draw around your signature. So it's important to try and get as close to your signature as you can so you don't have excess white space around that signature. So you'll end up with that in this window. Now, I haven't zoomed into my signature. I just want to show you what will happen if we don't do that. So this is a, a very small picture. And we can click on this copy button here. So now that's on the clipboard, I'll shoot back to our PDF software and click on the button here and we can create a signature. I've got a few options here. We can draw a signature. So we could just draw one on here. Uh, most of the time that's not very good because you're trying to do that with a mouse. And we can import from a file or paste from clipboard, which we'll do in just a second. We can even just create one by typing. So it doesn't look exactly like your real signature because that's just uh, typed text. Um, so you may want to go through this process of taking a photo of your signature, in which case we'll just hit this paste from clipboard. Now, the reason why this is, is looking a little bit, um, the text is a bit jagged here is because we didn't zoom into that uh, signature prior to using the snipping tool. So I save that and put that onto our form. You'll notice that it looks like a very computer generated signature there. So we'll fix that by shooting back to our photo. And we'll zoom in as close as we can. We'll use the snipping tool again. And copy that. Create a new signature, paste from clipboard, and those lines are a lot smoother now. Uh, I've got this ticked by default, but you may not. So there's a, an option here that says convert signature to black and white. So this is the reason why I've said do it on a white piece of paper with no lines, is that it will make this a, a black signature and remove that background for us. So we have that unticked. Every time you use a signature, you'll have that, um, that funny color, which was the page color that shows up. So we'll convert signature to black and white and click save. And now our signature looks a lot nicer. All right, so to use that on any document now, this will be saved forever. Uh, we'll just click on the signature and put that on the field we're interested in. All right, now, now that we have uh, Foxit Reader installed on your PC as well, uh, there's a great tool here where we can print this document. And we can print it to Foxit Reader PDF printer. So this is a, a virtual print. So instead of actually printing out to your physical printer, you can print this directly to a PDF, which will flatten all of those fields and make it so that no one else can edit them 
or can't edit them easily. So if we print this document, it'll ask us where to save it. So we'll call this one form signed. We'll save that one. So that's uh, turned up in our file system here. So if I open this one, should have a signature here somewhere. <laughs> this one didn't save, I'll try that again. I'll save that as first. Okay, so it's asking us to apply the signatures, which I'll do. All right, so now we've got our signed copy and I'll try printing that again. And there's all our signatures. So now that we've uh, printed that document, uh, all of these editable fields are no longer editable. So you can't use that hand tool to click into these fields. So it's kind of a way of locking down uh, the document that you've just signed. Uh, so important to notice um, that this is not a certificate signing solution. It's not like DocuSign. So it's very similar to you signing it by hand, scanning it in and sending that off via email. Uh, but if you need a more robust solution uh, to make sure that no one edits the file after you've signed it, uh, you may need to look at something like DocuSign. Uh, Foxit does have some other tools where you can sign with certificate signing, uh, but that's out of the scope of today's session. And just uh, another useful piece of information here. So the same, uh, the same way that we've just printed this document to PDF, we could print a Word document in that same way as well. So we're testing the print from Word. So this could just be a document that you've created, uh, some sort of a contract or a uh, mail merge form from Gyro. So if we go to File and Print. Again, we'll choose our Foxit Reader PDF printer. Print that one, it'll ask us to save the document. And there it is there. So if we open that one, you can see that's our Word document now as a PDF copy. So that's what you generally do if you're writing out a contract or any other mail merge form and sending it off to your clients. Uh, the best practice is to save it or print it to PDF and that way it's more of a lockdown file they can't edit. All right, if there's any questions, let me know and I can go through those. Oh, I've noticed that uh, Craig has put his hand up there. Is there a particular question that you have there, Craig? Oh, my question was, um, oh, I couldn't he hear any sound. So I was just waving to see if there's any sound coming out. Oh, okay. So you can hear us loud and clear now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Perfect. Alrighty, so it looks like we don't have any more questions there. So uh, that's a, a wrap on our PDF editing. Uh, I'll put some links up uh, once I post this to YouTube showing you where you can download this software from. And yeah, get in touch via email if you've got any more questions. Thanks for attending, guys. See you next week.